have an event called Smoke Fire Gathering put on by Smoke Game Strong, who is our friend Matt Leone, big barbecue supporter, big food supporter. We love Matt. And he's been asking us to be in these events for a while. We've had other events and other caterings and other things to do during those events, but he finally got to me, Matt, you got to me early enough. September 30th, Smoke Fire Gathering. It's us, it's a bunch of other really good barbecue places and other really good restaurants gonna be out there cutting up amazing food, serving amazing dishes. It's a food festival. We've done these before. What we are serving for this is a flat iron. We've been testing out these different kinds of sliced beef options for the brick and mortar. We have the clod. We broke that down. We've done some flat iron videos. What I'm gonna show you in this one is the sauce that we're gonna make with that. Kind of a sauce that we're going to try out, test out at the brick and mortar. And it's not anything very specific right now. It's just an idea of something fresh, right? Barbecue, the reason you have pickles there, the reason you have onions and coleslaw and all this other kind of like fresh foods there is to cut through the fat. That's the idea with this sauce. Kind of going to be like a vinaigrette. We have some garlic in here already. We have a bunch of these little cubanelle peppers. We have some basil and I have some arugula. So the idea is that it's going to be like a chimichurri, this is more like an Italian salsa verde. But the point is that it's fresh, it's got dimension to it, it's going to contrast the nice fatty meat that we're bringing tomorrow, and it's gonna be really, really tasty. Okay, so I was planning to just make a traditional chimichurri for this, parsley, garlic, red peppers, but I was at a farm stand this morning at Boggy Creek where we're gonna be doing a different event. I was picking up vegetables for that, but I saw all this beautiful produce and I couldn't pass it up. Chefs and farm stands, they just go together like that. So, Cubanelle peppers, very good looking delicious basil that was grown right in East Austin. All this stuff was grown right in East Austin and some really good looking arugula as well. We're basically just gonna kind of rough chop, blitz this stuff up and we want some chunky textures, we want some bright flavors and we want some um, green colors. He's going in. Gonna go peppers and garlic first, just because they're kind of chunky and I want to keep them a little chunky. Yeah. We don't have to take it down too much, just kind of like a rough chop, like a mince, like that. That's really what we're looking for. That'll go in our bowl. This smells like a salsa already. Whole leaves, whole bunches, almost like we're making a pesto. Grab some olive oil before I get this going. Really just drizzling in some olive oil so we can blitz this stuff up a little bit so it gets broken up in here. This is not a particularly great olive oil. It's extra virgin olive oil, but it's just one that we got from our purveyor. Don't want to let this uh, stuff go too far. That's pretty much exactly what we're looking for there. It's all nicely broken up. We're going to dump that in here now. And we're going to repeat the same thing with the arugula. This is literally my favorite green. I would just eat this stuff with anything on it. Love the bitterness, love the flavor. Arugula is my favorite. Peppery, delicious. Okay. In we go. Olive oil ready. Start drizzling this in until it starts catching. Not too buzzed up. Looks pretty much like that basil. Garlic, peppers, herbs, bitter greens, a little bit more olive oil. Want this to be kind of swimmy. I think we're just gonna go all the way on that stuff there. Then we're gonna go in with just a little bit of rice vinegar, just for some clean acidity. No measurements, no fear. A little bit of salt. All right, we're gonna mix this up and taste it. That's pretty much it. We're just gonna mix this stuff up. This is exactly like I imagined it looking. This is exactly what we're looking for. Bright flavors. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Put this on any beef, fatty beef, smoky beef. Come out real good. That's it. That's what we want. Give it a taste. I don't really think it needs anything. I think it's good to go. See you guys tomorrow at Smoke Fire Gathering.
All right, we're here at Smoke Game Strong. Our good friend Matt Leone put on the Smoke Fire Gathering. There's a bunch of very good food out here. There's some really good drinks. We're right by the lake. As you can see from looking around, it's a great time. Bunch of great food out here. We specifically today are serving a smoked flat iron. It's a cut we've been trying to perfect for the new brick and mortar. Cut from the shoulder, comes from the clod. It's got a thick band of connective tissue kind of running through it. A lot of people fillet it out and do a flat iron steak. We cooked it like a brisket and are serving it with a Italian salsa verde. It's got arugula, basil, garlic, peppers. We made it at the commissary, pretty much it. Favorite bite of food, so I've had some really good stuff. I had a very good sausage from Mum. They had a German Czech style sausage with some like rye breadcrumbs in it and it was a really good old world style sea link sausage, really fantastic. I had a pulled pork souvlaki from some of our Greek friends who are staying at the Chud shop. Uh, what else was super good? Some shell on shrimp over there. Our friends at Huckleberry are here, so they're doing a really good fish dip. Oysters from Austin Oyster Company. I mean, it's all really awesome food. And right behind me, Lance Eaker, Eaker Barbecue in Fredericksburg. Really, really good stuff some gochujang pork belly burn ends. The thing I like most about this festival is it's a really good size. I was saying earlier that you can try everything here. There's not too many places. A lot of food festivals you go to, there's like 30 places. You can't try everything. Here there's probably like 15 or so and you can try everything. So it's great. Thanks, Matt. I mean, that's great. You got to have a little bit of stuff to lighten it up there. It's always good to get seafood in the mix, especially some of these outside festivals when it's hot outside a lot of people are doing some cold seafood we did a little smoked fish dip on a sourdough olive loaf as kind of an early appetizer ran out of that pretty quickly but still going strong on the flat iron came out really really good we seized it so we butchered it from the clod we seasoned it with our Lauroy's seasoned salt then uh, we put this extra rub on the outside that had more pepper and garlic and paprika and stuff in it so I think it came out really really good